the monster. Right. Pardon me, but may I help you two lovely lads with something? Hey boss, there he is. sounds nothing like what, what know, I thought he was gonna sound like. Indeed. Someone said a critic said that the best thing about this movie are the set design. Look, look at that. It's pretty cool. Oh my god. I forgot his name. The original Dr Dracula. I think the guy actually looked like that in real life. That's Rob Zombie's so wife, I think. So far, it kind of reminds me of uh, Beetlejuice a little bit. It also reminds me a little bit of uh, Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. And both of those, I think, were directed by Tim Burton. I think that's what should have probably did this movie. Tim Burton, man. But I'm gonna give Rob Zombie a chance. I, ask you a I don't think he should have used a lot of handheld cameras. That moving around stuff, I don't know. They don't, they don't work here. Shaky cam, I think they call it. According to IMDb, this is Rob Zombie's first movie that is not rated R. This is the first monsters movie or show not to feature the character Eddie Munster. You heard what he said. At the wedding, when his head catches fire, the tin can man says, call 911. In Transylvania, the number for emergency services is 112. This is big time, like an oh, 80s throwback. Like over the top character. That's not a bad thing, man. Question. Not bad. Not yet. So far, from what I'm seeing, I think little kids are like the movie a lot. If they market it right, if the right parents show it to the right kids, it'll, it'll become like a little cult classic for kids. So far. Man, seriously, the, the set designs, man. That's supposed to be uh, Richard Nixon. Oh, that's the unveiling right there. Good morning, Transylvania. <laughs> uh, oh, she's gonna fall for him. <laughs> I like that little background they do. Uh, kind of like a uh, Batman, the original oh, TV show. You don't see that every day. I knew she was gonna fall for him. According to the critics I saw on YouTube, he's like the worst part of it. He's like a horrible. Uh, Herman Munster. Hey, zombie nightclub. <laughs> so what if I don't know what Armageddon means? It's not like it's the end of the world. <laughs> Working in a mirror factory is something I could totally see myself doing. So he's singing jokes. Supposed to be like Rockabilly? <laughs> I don't know, man. Something wrong with me because I like it. You own this joint? So <laughs> uh, the black werewolf. That's uh, the guy she was dating. Not so Rutsu, whatever. This is the way of the future. What do you guys think? Yeah, they don't know nothing. See, they agree. Don't listen to them. <laughs> I'm talking about the long road. You know, you could play this movie in the background, like on a projector, like this or whatever, what at a Halloween party, man. It'll be perfect. Or at a club Nelly, on Halloween weekend. Just and you know what? Rob Zombie's wife, I forgot her name. All right. She's doing a good job too. A little over the top, but like everybody else is. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be that way. I would like to go to that club. Lily. <laughs> he falls for her too. <laughs> He's like a rock star. <laughs> oh man! I'm no Bobby Darren. She's gonna see right through me and know I'm just a big boob. What is wrong with people, man? This shit's fucking pretty funny. I don't know. My birthday's October fourth. Since a kid, I loved October. I like the weather, all the creative stuff that goes around. So maybe I'm a little uh, biased, but so far so good. A bottle of the B posit. No. <laughs> I'm gonna splurge. Oh, negative. Oh. I'm gonna splurge. <laughs> <laughs> this movie. Deep inside. B 
beats the heart of a simple country boy. <laughs> fact, what the fuck? A simple country boy. I'm straight from the dirt. You can't get more grounded than that. A simple country boy, straight from the dirt. Bridget, <laughs> sister. <laughs> uh, it, it, it was so nice to meet you. I hope to see you again soon. Over my dead body. That would be delightful. Oh, we know him. <laughs> <laughs> him. It would be delightful. Okay. They say that if your father-in-law, mother-in-law doesn't like you, you and your girl are gonna last forever. If they do like you, man. Nah. Damn, devotion. You know what? I think kids are gonna like this movie. I think these godheads are gonna like it too. I don't know. I think it'll make a good day movie. None of you and I are practically blood related. I think it's only right that I tell you about this sweetheart real estate deal. That sounds boss, man. <laughs> <laughs> boss. But Uh, La Llorona. I want a boogie hoogie hoogie, so we just can't boogie no more. <laughs> My <laughs> <son> <laughs> <was> <laughs> 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 I knew from the moment I saw your flat head and that cute little <laughs> Your flat head. Really, you take Kermit Herman Munster as your true husband until the loss of electricity do you part? I do. That robot even kind of, uh, kind of sounds like the uh, pastor or whatever he was from Beetlejuice. Speak now or forever hold your peace. The Reverend. Small Reverend. French fries. <laughs> so nobody's so tripping off the fact that they're monsters. Hey, Woody Woodpecker. In French. That's the champagne I ordered. Room service at this hotel is terrible. Every time I order something, they just throw it at me from across the hall. Oh, Herman, you have to remember, <laughs> we're in Transylvania. Oh, it's messed up. Right. She's badass because she, she got disappointed in um, Herman Munster. But she didn't get mad at him and she didn't leave him. Right. They're going to work through it. Lunar eclipse. I must warn you, I'm going to be heading straight to a Halloween party after we visit the property. So, don't be shocked by my appearance. Um, oh, wow. Okay. And welcome to the Air Transylvania Flight 666. We have a flying crew of 52 hours. <laughs> you got it on little... See? Oh, wait, wait a minute. I think this is them. Okay. She's going to think Time for they me. came or, or are going to a Halloween costume party. Oh no. Well, I'm getting a little worried we might be too boring for this hipster neighborhood. Speak for yourself. I'm always the first <laughs> hipster. on the floor. Are you planning on having kids? Well, I'm a little young for children. I'm only 150. Although you know what they say. <laughs> My Herman. I know. It's perfect. It's more than perfect. It's like old and abandoned, it's I bet. I've always wanted to be featured in better tombs and gardens. Yeah. Herman, why is she walking towards that hideous monstrosity? <laughs> I think Barbara is trying to swindle us into buying that abomination. Oh, Herman, deal with this. Show her who you're made of. Yeah, you're the man of the house. Who you're made of. Look, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> Are they bored? Well, now what? <laughs> the gorilla DJ. You'll find out. Got a boogie. They don't kiss. I'm, dead. I'm pretty sure they already got Gotta be Rob Zombie. It's always good. Now they're all normal, huh? Yeah, I remember in the TV show, they never left the house. 
think. I think we've been invaded by outer space mutants. What are you talking about? Oh no! It's one of those freaks. Don't answer. We are going to answer that door as a family and greet whoever is there as our equal. I hope this lesson's a shock. <laughs> Lily! Lester. I made a killing in Vegas after that castle beer. And here's your share! Oh. I'm rich! What? I'm rich! They don't gotta work. No way, it's over. Oh shit, it's really over. What? Oh, that was a bad ending. Alright, so this movie was not terrible. I mean, you can't compare it to Adam's Family, Beetlejuice, or or any other kind of like popular um, Halloween movie comedy. Still good though, man. I thought it was going to be way worse. I went in low, very low expectation. It was hit or miss. Some jokes landed, some didn't, but it was still funny, man. It was still entertaining. And it's short. I went, I went 40, I think. Not bad. They all did a good job. I thought the I thought the Herman Cain guy, Herman Cain, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought the Herman Munster guy was going to be horrendous, man. Like, the way the critics were talking about, he was, his voice was uh, supposed to be very annoying and everything. But come on, man. Not that bad. It's just his take on it, you know, his style. The ending. Nah, 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 nah. It should have ended a little differently, just a little bit. Uh, how? I don't even know how, but that it's sort of like uh it felt like the beginning of a movie or a TV show and then you and you cut it off. You know, it's no big deal. I'm just, I'm gonna say it one more time, man. The set pieces, the set design the props, makeup, costume, bar none, man. Probably the best I've seen all year in a movie. I think what, what made it look bad to a lot of critics is that the camera style, the cinematography, the, the look of it doesn't really fit. That's the same look that uh, Rob Zombie uses in all his other R-rated movies. But it doesn't work for a comedy. You should have tried something different. The handheld stuff, the shaky cam, nah. I think they took too long to get to uh, to L.A. Right in the middle is when they should have went, spent a little more time in their new house, and then it ended it differently. But still not not bad, man. All right, so from one to ten. Considering what it is, I think it's more for Hollywood, Hollywood, for uh, Halloween heads, and for kids. I think kids will really like this movie. But with that in mind, I'll give it an 8. It's definitely rewatchable, especially if you drink and smoke. Alright, y'all. Catch you on the next one. Counterfeiting is a billion dollar business perpetrated by thousands of people throughout the world. Meet Kimo, one of those people. Kimo is a young man from the most dangerous city in America. After losing his job, he ventures into the risky business of counterfeiting to help relocate his family to a better place.